All right, we got a question for you. Do you see your doctor every year for a checkup? Not just to go in for like a flu shot or when you're, when you're sick, but to have the checkup, like your physical. A study done by research company Ipsos back in 2018 showed only 30% of adults in the United States visited their primary care physician once a year. So, are annual checkups really important and necessary? This topic came up because we had a physician in and I had mentioned that I don't go and that I have no idea if I have high blood pressure. So joining me to answer some of our questions is Dr. Shoma Sanyal, a primary care physician at IU Health. And first of all, I asked you, you know, we had that statistic that said only about 30%. Is that accurate? I mean, I'm not an, an anomaly. There's a lot of people like me that don't go every year. Is yeah. that right? I think most people think, oh, I'm feeling great. You know, I'm going to stay away from the doctor. Yeah. But actually, there's a really great reason to go because there are things that you can't see necessarily on the outside or feel on the outside, like your blood pressure or your cholesterol levels or your diabetes number. And so we definitely want to get that screened and definitely on a yearly basis because things can change quick. Yeah. I mean, and it's something that I think I want to do. Like my mom is a type one diabetic. I want to know if yes. how my, what my di you know, what, absolutely. What I, I have no idea. And prevention is the best <gasps> medicine because cholesterol numbers. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Jim O'Brien's going to come over here too, but you're going to um, talk to us a little bit about, again, um, it, it's not that big of a deal, right? So you're going to take my blood pressure yeah. while we're talking about this. So yeah. um, while you're doing that, can you talk about, again, some of the tests that we should be getting every year? Should we be getting our cholesterol tested every year? Yes. Okay. So your cholesterol numbers, your diabetes number, definitely checking your blood pressure, your vital signs, all of that is going to be super important. Why do I feel nervous right now? Right. So white coat hypertension <laughs> is definitely a thing. So if my if I have high blood pressure right now, it could be because I'm my hands are sweating and I have no idea why. <laughs> yes. I might pass out. I might need you to come in here. So go ahead and get your palm facing up. Okay. Yep. Jimmy, come here, sit with yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, you are, it you does are clammy. Kind of squeeze a little bit, yeah. but it's actually great to know. Okay, so taking go. some deep breaths. Normally, we would have you sitting for five minutes oh. with your feet flat, pee beforehand. Oh, no I have to go to the bathroom. Talking, oh. But for the purpose of today, oh. we'll actually just demonstrate. So if you have to go to the bathroom, will that make it higher? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, because you're kind of tensing yeah, up. You're, yeah, so anything that you're kind of tensing. Mind's wandering. Talking, walking, moving, all of that. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Fire this thing so up now. You just kind of get any of these at any of your drug stores, Amazon, hmm. press the start button, they're automatic. Oh, so you can have these at your house. Yeah. So if I'm talking, will it be higher? Yeah, so. <laughs> be quiet. So, so I'll talk. Okay, so every year you should go at least once a year yes. to get a physical yeah, checkup. Yeah. Blood work is always yeah. the issue that I find. It's like you have to go, can you, you don't have to fast anymore, it sounds like, to get blood work anymore. Because yeah. that was always the issue, going to get blood work done. Is like you couldn't eat, you know, right. couldn't drink certain, you know, I think yeah. you could have coffee, but... So is blood work highly recommended? And do you have to fast for that? Yeah, so blood work is highly recommended. Okay. You don't necessarily need to fast. If you're unfasted, we can still use those levels. Okay. So that is A-OK. -okay. So okay. definitely recommended to go because otherwise we don't have a w good way of knowing okay. whether you have high cholesterol or if you are pre-diabetic or on the verge of okay. diabetes or having diabetes. And since Ange, are, Ange and I are over the age of 30 or 40, <laughs> I mean 50, are there other tests that we should be looking at right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Okay. So there are cancer screening tests. We were talking about this you a can little talk, bit earlier. And so <laughs> essentially, we definitely want to do cervical cancer screening for okay. our women from All right. age 21 through 65. Oh, okay. Wow. So We've, even earlier than that. So 117 over 76. Beautiful. Okay. So that's good. That is great. 117 are you surprised? Yes. over 76 <laughs> with my hand being sweaty yeah. and being nervous. Yeah. Um, I calmed you down, though, because so I took, I took most so of the So we got a lot of time taken. Yeah, I got to go. do weather. Yeah, yeah. But again, the, the biggest deal is blood, urine samples, heart, yeah. everything. We, we got to be yeah. doing this. Yeah. And definitely breast cancer screening, colon cancer screening. So I just told her that it's been more than 13 years since I've had a mammogram. Okay. We're going to take care of me and more people. I know I'm being honest right now because if I'm doing that, I know that other people feel the same way that I do and we just don't go. So we're going to, everyone's condemned. Everyone has this look right now. Like, I can't believe you. You're a horrible person. Just but find someone you vibe with. Okay. And we're not scary. So. <laughs> Thank you. Of course.